There is no doubt in my mind that Tyler Beatty is a top three running back in this draft class. I think there is a very real argument that he could be the best running back out of this draft class. And I say that as a Missouri fan who watched every snap of his career at Mizzou. And it started in 2018 when he was a freshman. And for his first three seasons, he was more of a scat back type player. He, was, he wasn't a bell cow back until his senior year. And there was a lot of questions on whether or not he could be that bell cow back after the graduation of Larry Roundtree. You know, his first three years, he was behind Roundtree and Demaria Crockett, who are both NFL players now. And when he saw the field, he was productive. But given the fact that he's 5'8", 194, people didn't know if he could come in and handle the grind of being the number one running back on an SEC team. And he came in and he thrived. The Missouri passing offense last year was abhorrent. Quarterback Connor Basilak just could not find any footing. And at times, Tyler Beatty was the Missouri offense. Going up against these SEC teams, Beatty just looked spectacular. He had a 1,600-yard rushing season. That is the best in Missouri history. But obviously, it would be ridiculous for me to expect him to come in and have a 1,000-yard rushing season his rookie year in the NFL, but I do think that he is going to have a similar role to how he had his early seasons at Missouri, where he was just kind of this scat back who came in when needed and was still very productive when he was on the field. And I think the best fits for him would be either Kansas City or Buffalo because there's not really an established running back one on either team. Devin Singletary is okay, and Clyde Edwards-Hilaire really hasn't worked out in Kansas City. So I think that Tyler Beatty could come into either running back room and really take it over through camp and preseason and establish himself as the running back one there. And But... More than likely, he's going to be a running back two somewhere, and maybe an injury causes him to break out, but don't be stunned if he ends up running back one and having a breakout season somewhere. Eventually, like I said, I don't expect it to be RB1, but long story short, whoever got him, you got a hell of a running back.